Welcome back to our cooking series for 2020. This recipe is number six, and we're going to make a granola. I like to make big batches of granola, so you'll need four cups of steel cut oats. Now you're gonna need a separate bowl for this part. We're gonna do one third cup of raw honey. Next, we're gonna add a one third cup of syrup. The last thing that we're gonna add to this bowl is a one third cup of coconut oil. Once you have your honey, your syrup, and your coconut oil in a bowl, we're gonna pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds at a time until all of your coconut oil has been completely melted. I always pull it out and give it a stir and kind of break up the coconut oil so it helps it melt. While we're waiting on our coconut oil to melt, now is the time to add our nuts and our dried fruit to our oats. First, we're gonna start with a 1 4th cup almonds. So apparently I forgot to hit record. There's also a 1 4th cup walnuts and a 1 4th cup pecans in there as well. Now we're gonna mix the nuts and the oats up really well. Now we're gonna throw some cinnamon in there. I don't know, probably a tablespoon or two. So while we were filming this video, for you guys on this new delicious granola recipe. This is how we found our children of the backyard. <laughs> okay, now back to the recipe. We're gonna add about a one third cup of dried pineapple. The next dried fruit we'll be adding is a one third cup of dried apricots. The last dried fruit we'll be adding is a half a cup of raisins. Once all the dried fruit has been added, let's go ahead and give her another good stir. Now that we have all of our nuts, all of our dried fruit, and all of our oats in one bowl, now is the time to add the syrup, honey, and coconut oil mixture Now it's time to stir and mix everything up. You wanna make sure that everything gets coated evenly. Once everything is coated evenly, you're going to add to a baking pan that is lined either with a mat or parchment paper. Now we're going to spread the granola out and make sure that it's all even so it cooks evenly. Once your oven is preheated to 350, we're going to pop the granola in and cook it for about 40 minutes or until the edges start to turn a light brown. Once your granola is done and the edges are brown, now we're going to set it on the counter and let it cool off. It takes about an hour. Yeah, go ahead. This is why I make a big batch. No one can wait, and it just gets eaten right away. So if y'all know me, I love to repurpose and reuse things as much as I can. This is an old pickle jar and an old prego jar, and these are great for airtight containers.
Is it good, Jack? Oh! <laughs> 